This is going to be a particularly exciting year at Treasure Valley Community College for several reasons. One is because we will be breaking ground on a brand new Career and Technical Education Center. And uh, we really need that here. There are hundreds, uh, thousands of jobs that are going unfilled because of unskilled labor. So there's this huge uh, workforce gap. There will be a workforce training room available so that anybody from business and industry could come and use that room to train their own employees. Those individuals then can have uh, living wage jobs. At my current job, I use all the skills that I learned here at TVCC, such as consecutive welding, adjusting the machine, fabrication skills, grinding skills, all of that is important when you go out in the real world at a welding job. It will help our, our career and technical education be state of the art. So we'll be focused on apprenticeships, um, placing students out in an actual uh, working situation where they can learn hands-on skills with an employer. Um, they can fly a helicopter or an airplane. Uh, they can go on field trips of natural resources with, um, with our wonderful natural resources instructor and learn what they would actually be doing if they were out in the field with that particular type of degree. Uh, we're on the banks of the Snake River and I, every spring I, I bring my students here in my watershed management class and uh, we come with uh, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife uh, Fisheries Biologist and we, uh, we set traps here on the Snake River and we've done about a five year in a row study on what kind of fish uh, diversity we see and so I have my students bring the fish that they trap right up here to the bank and uh, they process those fish and uh, we kind of see trend of what kind of species are inhabiting this spot and then also what their size uh, differences are year to year. So with the medical assisting program it's really supported by the community. The students are required to go out into the workforce and work 165 hours of externship hours. We have students go through the St. Al's Clinic clinics here in the community, the St. Luke's clinics, and then Valley Family as well. They allow our students to go into their facilities and work one-on-one -on -one with medical assistants, kind of learning exactly what they do within that clinic. I have been in higher ed for over 30 years. And one of the things that I have found is that for students, it's much more than just the learning that happens in the classroom. It's about connections. We, we typically do a lot of fun uh, activities throughout the year. We try and get the students engaged uh, with the Natural Resource Club. It's a very active club on campus. Um, annually, we'll have ice fishing trips. Uh, we typically go whitewater rafting every spring, hiking, camping trips. Um, and we try and do that just to make learning fun. And honestly, I try and trick students into learning, so. Well, we have outstanding faculty at Treasure Valley Community College, high quality, and when they walk into the classroom, they know that they're in the classroom with an expert and someone who cares about them and who's going to help them be successful. Uh, my math class was uh, Mr. Reynolds, you know, and I walked in and he's like me, he was like, hey, introductions, you know, and he goes, introduces himself, and you have to go around the class, and there's like 10 of us in there, and we're all like giving our introductions, you know, and he's like, and um, I'll be in the back, get up here, you know, so like you're like personable, you're with everyone, and then he just like, you know, it's math, so it's not like fun fun, but he makes it so that you want to be there and it's not like a drag. You're, you have the help that you need. You've got the support, I guess, around you. I had a lot of one-on-one -on -one connections with my teachers because they really cared about my education and my success, so that was surprising and nice to have. And so you've got a lot of like support here that I don't think you can find at a lot of other places. And because, you know, Ontario is so small, campus is so small, Everything's kind of close and you kind of know everyone. I chose to come to TVCC to play volleyball on a scholarship and then I also uh, wanted to come to TVCC for the leadership activities and everything and be enrolled in government. This is probably the richest campus that I have seen for student programs and activities. Uh, literally there's something for them to do almost every single night. I really like the atmosphere. It's a really nice place. And I really liked um, just kind of the people are willing to help you out. And something about having a smaller college over a bigger one is bigger colleges tend to kind of forget certain people. And I noticed that sometimes my hearing impairment was not taken into account for. And I really like Carter Valley because it 
it allows you to kind of go one on one with everyone. Everyone's kind of like a family and I hope that that will help a lot more on staying organized and helping me balance everything out. It was close to home, very good program, um, has a great reputation. It's known for putting out quality nurses, excellent job placement, NCLEX, success rates, and instructors are very helpful and it's been great, been a great experience. I chose the TBCC Aviation Program because it was really cost effective and it, the instructors here are really personable and everyone here um, is really just dedicated to helping you and your career and they just are really passionate about helping the students get to achieve the goals that they have set for themselves. We exist because of our students. Um, that's the whole reason we're here. I'm a college graduate, the second one of my family, so it's really important to me and I'm really happy. I put a lot of time, a lot of effort to graduate today, so my family's proud of me, I'm proud of me. That's, that's all that really matters. Today is, you know, just uh, probably the biggest day of my life. Uh, it's been a dev, uh, big, huge journey for me, uh, personally as well as academically, because I never applied myself in high school. And coming here, uh, I really decided to make a change and life was very different. I'm just very proud to to have accomplished this. TBCC meant a new opportunity for me to move forward in life, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wanted to show the, my kids, you know, see that their parents did something good, went to school, and you know, hopefully they would follow in their footsteps. I would tell anybody that's never too late to go back to school. You could do it with kids, work, you know, kids being in a bunch of different sports, you know, at TBC, it, that it's possible. I believe that anyone can be who they want to be and nothing should stop you from achieving your dreams. I feel like if I get my degree and my pilot's license from TVCC, the sky's the limit for me.